Uh, reflections of waivers. Our focus is on reflections. Uh, reflections occurs when an incident wave hits a reflector and is reflected back. I think uh, you should know this. But for reflections, uh, uh, there are a few things that you need to know about reflections. First, you need to know the law of reflections and you need to know the changes after reflections and you need to know the patterns of the wave fronts after reflections for a plane wave and also for a circular wave. Eh? And you also need to know some applications of reflections. Law of reflections. Eh? The diagrams uh, in this chapter is different from the diagram in uh, of light. Eh? Okay, light. We use the straight lines to represent light. Okay, uh, we use the straight lines. Okay, we say this is light. Uh, this is called a light ray. Eh? Light ray. Eh? But in these chapters, we discuss wave. So we use wave front. Wave front. Eh? Okay. So it's different. Eh? This is light ray. This is wave front. It's different. Okay. So we have incident wave, okay? So this represents the wave. This is a wave front diagram. And then uh, the wave hit the reflector. It hit the reflector, then it's refracted. Something wrong here, okay? So uh, the, the reflected wave should look something like this. Eh? Something wrong here. Okay, uh, the reflected ray here so we'll learn how to draw this later okay uh, this wave it hit the reflector and then it's reflected back if we draw the lines eh, for the directions of the wave and then we draw a normal at the center then you will find that uh, this is the angles of the incidence denoted by i and this is the angles of reflections denoted by r and then so these two angles uh, it should be the same okay these two angles it should be the same so uh, that is the law of ref reflections uh. the angles of reflections must be equal to the angles of incidence okay. this is the first law and then the second law it says that the incident wave the reflected wave and the normal this is the incident wave uh. this is a reflected wave and the normal that must be on the same plane same plane means same surface uh must be on the same surface so this these are the two laws of reflections and you must remember this eh? you must remember or you must memorize this must remember because this can be asked in your uh, structure questions or essay questions eh? the law of reflections okay uh, changes after reflections I guess something wrong also here Okay, so what is changed? Eh? What's changed? The directions. Directions of the wave. After it hit the reflector, the direction changed. But what remained unchanged? The wavelength. The wavelength is still the same. The frequency is still the same. And the speed is still the same. And you must know this eh? because this may be asked in your, in your exam. Eh? They will ask you what has what have changed and what uh, has not changed. So wavelength, frequency, speeds all remain unchanged. But the directions, only the direction change. Eh? Okay, and the amplitude, how about the amplitude? Will the amplitude change? Um, it depends. It depends on what types of the reflector, okay, on how good is the reflector. If it's a very good reflector, uh, then uh, usually the amplitude won't change, eh? okay? And it depends on also the, it depends on the, the shape of the wave front, eh? okay? For circular wave, for sure it will change, it will reduce. Eh? For circular wave, the, the amplitude will reduce. Eh? okay but for a plane wave plane wave huh? okay can remain unchanged if the reflector is good so uh, directions will change wavelength frequency and speed it won't change but the amplitude it may change or it may not change it depends on the reflector and also the shape of the wave huh? 